doing guys, it's AVFC Vlog here now today. It's been about a week since I've last uploaded anything to my YouTube channel. The last video that was on my channel was a live stream when we survived a relegation against West Ham. And since that live stream, I haven't really been in the mood to record any videos. But today we are back, we are back on the grind, we are back doing videos for you guys and today is some Aston Villa transfer talk. Yes that's right guys the rumours have begun of the new transfer window. The rumours are here talking about potential players that could be signing for Aston Villa and today I'm going to be talking about two very good players that would help our squad. But before we talk about these two players YouTube have told me that about 60% of you guys watching now are not subscribed so let's try and lower that percentage down as much as possible and we are already about 70 subscribers away from the big 8,000 subscribers and I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year so if you guys are new if you could subscribe that would mean a lot and of course goes without saying if you enjoy the video like this video so the first player i'm going to be talking about is a player that has been heavily linked with villa around the last 24 hours since brentford lost the player final there's been lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of headlines and reports that ollie watkins could be signing for the villa if you guys are living under a rock and don't already know ollie watkins is a very young 24 year old english striker who plays at brentford who unfortunately just lost in the player final to Fulham and there's been a lot of rumours about Palace and Leeds and other clubs signing Ollie Watkins but Villa we are the club that's linked with Ollie Watkins the most. Before we get into any facts and statistics about Ollie Watkins I would just like to say that this would be the perfect signing for Villa this season because of course last season well um we had some issues with strikers, didn't we? Firstly we signed a £22 million player in Wesley who were essentially um Scored about four goals and did nothing for Villa. And then in January, we went and signed Ali Samata, who was okay. Don't get me wrong, he wasn't bad, but he wasn't the goal scorer we needed. And Villa really, really did lack goals last season. Last season, Ollie Watkins was the joint top goal scorer in the championship, joint with Lewis Graben, scoring 26 goals in 46 games. And oh my God, what a season Ollie Watkins had at Brentford. Ollie Watkins would be a perfect striker for us this season because uh, when Dean Smith did manage Brentford a couple years ago, uh, Dean actually did bring in Ollie Watkins from Exeter on the 16th of July for about £1.8 million. The season we got promoted from the championship, Dean Smith signed Tammy Abraham. Tammy, Tammy is obviously a very similar striker to Ollie Watkins. Both of them are, are, are obviously can score goals. They're very pacey. They're good at dribbling, decent at passing. That's the sort of striker that uh, Dean Smith wants in his starting eleven. He doesn't want a Wesley a holder man. He wants a pacey, fast striker that can score goals, that can run onto balls. Ollie Watkins is just that. And look how well Tammy Abraham played under Dean Smith because Dean Smith got the, got the best out of Abraham. It, it, Dean Smith essentially like kind of played, uh, kind of played to Abraham's strength with the whole squad. Our whole our, our whole play style was around Jack Grealish and Tammy Abraham, and Tammy Abraham was scoring goal after goal after goal. And that's hopefully what Dean Smith can do with Ollie Watkins. As I said, Dean Smith was the one who brought Ollie Watkins into the Brentford side. So obviously, Ollie Watkins knows Dean Smith. Uh, Dean knows how. To to get the best out of Ollie Watkins. Uh, also, Ezri Konza used to play for Brentford. Dean brought Ezri Konza to Villa uh, when he when he managed Ezri at Brentford. Uh, Ezri Konza and Ollie Watkins, uh, you know, they're always posting and putting stuff on their story about each other on Instagram. They obviously got a bit of a friendship, so maybe that could help bring Ollie Watkins to Villa. You never know. The fee of Ollie Watkins, I think his release clause is around about eighteen million pounds. Uh, I've seen somewhere that we are prepared to pay twenty five million for. In, which will obviously nearly break our transfer transfer fee record. Also, Leeds and Palace are very interested in Ollie Watkins. Leeds, not so much, but Palace, I've seen a lot of headlines about them because um, uh, as weird as this sounds, they probably need Ollie Watkins more than us because obviously they've got Ben Teke, him, whatever. He's not a good striker. And also Zaha, if they think Zaha's going to lead the season, they're going to need a backup striker. And that could be Ollie Watkins for them. I think Palace are prepared to pay around £20, 20 million for Wal Ollie Watkins. We, we are going to try and pay about £25 million. So maybe Palace, if they want Ollie Watkins, will have to raise their price because, you know, we're going to put a higher bid than them. If I look at some of Ollie Watkins' stats, 
you know, he came through the Exeter Academy, scoring 15 goals for them in his last season. That was in League Two. So for a League Two striker, that's not bad. In the 17-18 season, he scored 10 goals in 45 games. In the 18-19 season, he scored 10 goals again in 41 games. Obviously, he had that amazing season last season where he scored 26 goals. He's also scored some very crucial goals for Brentford this season, being like when he scored in the playoffs against Swansea when they won 3-1 to get to Wembley. He scored the winner versus West Brom where he shushed the West Brom fans even though there was no fans in the stadium but you know it's fine it's West Brom who cares uh he scored the, in the 87th minute the winner against uh, Middlesbrough scored the winner against Cardiff he scored two goals versus QPR one of them being in the last minute uh he scored in the last minute against Millwall again and that's just to name a few goals he scored this season he scored some very crucial goals for Brentford and you know it, you can see for his highlights of this season he's a genuine goal scorer and he, he can be a threat to teams but I'm going to be talking about next Saeed Benarama he's heavily linked with Villa I'm going to be talking about him in a minute so if he comes to uh if he comes to Villa Saeed or maybe he tells Oli that they should both go together then obviously that could help Ollie Watkins sign for us so there are quite a few connections to us and we are prepared to pay what 25 million pounds or whatever to, for him he fits Dean Smith's play style 25 million pounds why not just go for it so you've got to think about this obviously it's not there hasn't been there's been a few rumors but there's nothing confirmed about uh Villa potentially signing Tammy Abraham or Tammy Abraham rejoining Aston Villa but if you think about it as soon as uh Chelsea announced that Werner was signing for Chelsea Tammy Abraham came out and said if he doesn't get game time next season he wants to leave that's what he instantly said so maybe if he hears these rumours about Ollie Watkins, then maybe he won't want to come to Villa because obviously we love Tammy. Every Villa fan loves Tammy. In the back of every Villa fan's mind, we're always kind of saying, let's sign Abraham. Abraham, why not? Timo's coming to Chelsea. Let's do it. It's our perfect time. But if we sign Ollie Watkins, maybe Tammy won't want to come to uh, Villa because he might think that he might not get enough game time. So you've got to think about that as well. Who would you rather have, Tammy or... Well, Ollie Watkins. So that's Ollie Watkins, and there's only one other player in this video I'm going to be discussing about, and that is the Alger Algerian wizard, the winger Saeed Benarama. First of all, I just want to say that, in my opinion, if we're going to sign one of these, most likely it's going to be Ollie Watkins, even though we are heavily linked with Saeed Benarama. There's been loads of clubs linked with him. There's Chelsea, Arsenal, West Ham, Leeds. Us. Chelsea were interested in Saeed a couple months ago and since that we uh, since Brentford lost the player final there's been lots of stuff about us so the the team he's most likely to come to could be us or Chelsea but if you think but if you do think about it Chelsea have obviously got the likes of Pulisic who's been playing incredibly since uh, since lockdown they're going to be having Kai Havertz probably they've already got Ziyech Mason Mount if you got to think about it is Ben is Ben Arama going to get in the Chelsea team Probably not, but with us, I reckon he'll fit straight into the team because this guy is generally, I've seen some clips on YouTube and stuff, he is one of the most naturally gifted footballers, talented, whatever you want to call it, players in the championship, I think, ever. He scored 17 goals this season, which is the sixth most uh, in, the, uh, in the whole league. He scored, once again, a lot of crucial goals for Brentford, but 17 goals from a winger, Jesus Christ, if you think about it, that's a lot of goals. Him and Ollie Watkins were absolutely deadly for Brentford last season, and that's re those two were really why Brentford went so far in the league and got to the player final, because those two link up play, they've got a good friendship, you know, they were very, very good, and I think if one of them, if Ollie Watkins comes to Villa, there's no reason why Saeed won't come to Villa as well. Again, it was Dean Smith, I think, who actually signed Saeed Benarama. Uh, for Brentford with uh, around uh, £2.7 million in 2018 on the 6th of July. So once again, Saeed knows Dean Smith, he knows Konza. If he knows that Watkins might be coming to Villa, he might want to come to Villa as well. So there's, a lot, once again, a lot of connections with, the, with that Brentford player at Villa. Personally, I think this guy will go straight into the team. He's very, very good. He's got a few caps for Algeria. Um, personally, I think he's better than Trezeguet and El Ghazi. Of course, Trezeguet did score some crucial goals for us uh, for us to stay up, to, for us to survive. He's one of our top goal scorers last season. But if you think about it, was Trezeguet a standout player? Yes, he scored a lot of goals. Uh, uh, but was he really that good, in my opinion? Not really, not really, if I'm being honest. He had that really good game against Crystal Palace and he scored a lot of crucial goals, but apart from that, 
there wasn't really any like top notch performances from Trezeguet, El Ghazi. Oh my god, El Ghazi, ask any Villa fan. He's always on and off and on and off and on and off the bench. He's one of the most con inconsistent players we've had this season. So either side, left or right, I reckon uh, be be Benarama would fit straight into the Villa team. Once again, a very young player, one, only 24 years old. He scored 17 goals this season. Uh, once, as I said, been linked with a lot of clubs. So if we so, so if I uh, know, will we be favourites to sign him? Probably not. Chelsea are probably favourites to sign him, but there's been lots of rumours, and there's there's no reason why he why he shouldn't sign for Villa. We were actually linked with him about a year ago, around about July. But we we kind of pulled out of the deal and we went for we we went we went full force and we wanted to sign Trezeguet instead of uh, Benarama. But imagine if we signed Benarama instead of Trezeguet, Jesus Christ, we'd have a different season, wouldn't we? He's not championship quality. He's way better than that. He's got to come to a Premier League club, and there's absolutely no reason why he shouldn't join the mighty Villa. So yeah, there we go. Ollie Watkins, uh, Saeed Benarama, both very good players that, in my opinion, would be absolutely massive upgrades to our squad, replacing you know the likes of Trezeguet, replacing you know the likes of Samata, the Grealish in behind them. Mate, it'd be absolutely unstoppable, and I think it'd be perfect if we sign you know those two players. Let me know your thoughts in the comments comments down below would you rather sign Tammy Abraham or Ollie Watkins do you think either do you think Watkins or uh, Benarama would come to Villa let me know in the comments if you haven't already subscribed we're very close to 8,000 subscribers and also if you want more transfer news and Villa news and or just you want me to upload more please let me know because I really want to let me know some video ideas there's lots of transfer news at the minute so let me know if you want me to do more videos like this anyway hope you guys enjoyed thank you for watching follow the Instagram like, subscribe, all that stuff. Comment down below. See you guys later. Thank you.